Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Angeline and welcome to practice. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe. And of course, turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when I release a new video. You don't wanna miss out. Click above to be added to the Kini C community newsletter for more creative vinyasa flow yoga classes, workshops, teacher trainings, and retreats. Now roll out your mat and let's get flowing. Welcome to practice. This is an add on a pose plus retrograde all levels flow. So we'll be building from one pose to the next and then reversing the order of that pose. It being all level simply means that I'll offer a ton of variations and modifications throughout the whole practice. So whether you consider yourself an advanced practitioner or a beginner, there should be an option for you every step of the way. So let's get started in child's pose and be sure to comment on the video and let me know if you have any questions or comments and just simply let me know how you enjoyed the class. So I'll see you in child's pose. Let's begin our practice in child's pose. Knees wide, big toes together. Reach the arms out in front of you with the palms down and spread your fingers as wide as you can. Anchor your palms into the mat. Glue your fingertips into the mat and gently let the elbows lift off the ground. Begin to engage the arms fully. As you do this, press your pelvis towards your heels. Soften the forehead to the mat, maybe even rock your head side to side a few times. As we begin to settle into this child's pose, connect with your breath. Connect with the fluidity of the breath and how it moves through our body. How it allows us to release tension and how it brings us greater awareness for all the subtle changes. Begin to walk your hands off the mat over to the right. Some options here, you can place your left hand on top of the right and lower your left ear to the ground. You can even take your right arm and take it behind your back in a half bind. So as you move through this all levels practice, I will offer many variations, many modifications. And the intention of it being all levels is that you're picking and choosing when you'd like to make it more challenging or less challenging for yourself, depending on you, how you feel in this very moment. Let's release from this side and walk the hands through center and over to the left. On this side, maybe it's the right hand on top. Maybe it's the right ear down. Maybe it's a half bind with the left arm. And of course, if there's a variation or modification that I do not suggest or recommend, take it. I don't necessarily have time to say every little one but know that if there's something call, calling to you, be sure to follow that cue. We'll breathe here for just a bit longer, settling the hips further towards the heels as you breathe into your right side body. Let's slowly walk it through center. Shift the weight into your hands now, come into tabletop. As you stack your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees, once again, get back into that same engagement in child's pose with the hands, but now our arms are fully straight. We have some weight into the hands, fingers are spread, but we're still feeling that connection of the full palm into the ground. As you inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the chest and the gaze, and maybe tuck the toes under as an option. As you exhale, round your spine, come into cat pose, look for your belly button. You can keep the toes curled under or you can untuck the toes and press to the tops of the feet. Let's move in and out of cow and cat a few times. So the in breath takes us into cow with or without the movement of the feet. The out breath returns us into a cat, rounding out, stretching through the shoulder blades, maybe adjusting the movement of the feet. Again, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral as you inhale. Hold, draw the belly in, exhale. 
extend the right arm up towards the ceiling, reach through the fingertips as you broaden across your chest. Take the right arm underneath the left for thread the needle, right shoulder and ear to the ground. Some options here, keeping your left hand where it is, extending it up towards the sky, maybe a half bind with that left arm. Maybe you even extend your left leg and float it off the ground. Either way, breathe into that left side. Create space into the shoulders. Embrace the joy that comes out of movement that feels good. If you are in a variation, begin to unwind to where we started and we'll all take that right arm up towards the sky. Just one little stretch out. Replant the palm on the ground. Let's switch sides. Left arm reaches up. Stretch, expand. And as you exhale, thread that left arm underneath the right for our thread the needle stretch. Shoulder, ear to the ground. Those options again on this side will be right hand down, maybe right arm up, half bind with the right arm, or extend your right leg and possibly float it off the ground. All our layers, layers that we can add or take away, dependent on where we are, on our mat, in our breath, in our mind, in our hearts. So many different factors that will move us into one variation or another. We'll be here for just a bit longer, so tap into that breath. Tap into the shoulder stretch. If you're in a variation, come back to that neutral beginning point of thread the needle. Then we'll all unthread the left arm, send it up towards the ceiling. One more little stretch out and release it back to neutral tabletop. Walk your hands forward about one handprint. Then tuck the toes under, lift the knees, send the pelvis up and back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. In this down dog, a lot of people tend to enjoy walking the dog. So you can bend one knee and then the other. You can bend both knees at the same time or you can hold in a sense of stillness. Regardless of what variations you're taking, be sure to connect with the strength of your legs. So turn on those quadriceps. Feel the stretch through the backs of the legs. Turn on the arm muscles. Feel the stretch across the shoulders. Turn on the abdominals. Create length in the back body. We're not going to be here for too much longer. So just a couple more cycles of breath. Peeling back the layers of resistance and using the breath to support that. Slowly let's lift the heels up, tiptoe the way forward, your feet to your hands at the top of the mat, take as many little baby steps as possible. And once you come to the top edge of your mat, arrive in a forward fold, head dangles heavy, maybe a little bend into the knees, Weight even onto the feet. You can take a little bounces with the knees. You can shake the head out. Let the shoulders drop heavy. Let whatever you're holding on to, let it drop. Let it go. Let it melt down the arms past the fingertips into the ground. Let the earth take it over. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Round up your spine one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. As you make your way to standing, let your head be last to arrive into our mountain pose. Pause the mountain, feel the weight even in both feet. A nice activation through the palms, through the fingertips. A sense of weightlessness through the head. And on your next in-breath, sweep the arms overhead, gaze up past your fingertips. Exhale, swan dive forward into your forward fold, Uttanasana. Let the head be heavy once you arrive. 
Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to the mat, to your shins or your thighs. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, head hangs heavy. Plant the palms on the ground, keep your weight pouring into your hands as you step your right foot back and then your left foot back to plank pose. Be sure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrist, your fingers are spread wide, and you're actively hugging the inner thighs towards each other as you draw the feet, the heels away from you. One more in breath. Exhale, slow lower to your belly in five, four, three, two, one. Point your toes, press down to the tops of the feet. Inhale, cobra pose, float the chest, collarbone, nose off the ground without turning your gaze forward, but keeping the gaze down. Take one more in breath at the top. Exhale, release forehead to the mat. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees, press yourself up to plank or modified plank, keep the knees down, and return into your downward facing dog. One breath here in through the nose, and let's take an open mouth exhale, let that breath go out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, move forward, step, walk, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, hands to the shins, the mat, or the thighs. Exhale, forward fold, heavy through the spine. Press down to rise up, inhale, sweep your arms over ahead, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands meet at heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze up past your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, dive it right back down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, step your feet back, plank pose, left foot and then right foot this time. Hold your plank, generous breath in. Exhale, lower to the belly in five, four, three, two, one. Point your toes, press down to the tops of the feet, squeeze the inner thighs together. As you inhale, pass through or pause in Cobra. If you're passing through, go into your King Cobra, come up a little bit higher, hug the elbows in, broaden across your collarbone. Exhale, slowly release the forehead back down. Retuck the toes under. Coming up through King Cobra, excuse me, coming up through modified plank or full plank. Pause when you get there and press yourself back to downward facing dog. One breath in through the nose. One open mouth exhale, sigh the breath out, let it go. Heels high, inhale. Move forward, top of the mat, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, dive it right back down, forward fold. Last round here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palms, step or hop back this time into your chaturanga, your low plank. So go plank to low plank. As you inhale, your variation, cobra, king cobra, or finally upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And we'll meet in Downward Facing Dog, Auto Mukha Svanasana. Heels lift high, inhale. Look forward, move forward, top of the mat, exhale. Step, walk, or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Heels and toes together, chair pose, Utkatasana. Send your pelvis back as you reach your arms forward and up. So a few options here, and this is for any chair that we take. I'm gonna give these options once, but just know that you can take them anytime we're in chair. Option might pretty bring your hands to heart center if you need a little release in the shoulders. If you want more of an activation and working the mobility and the strength of your ankles, lift your heels up. And if it's too much to have the feet together, maybe you have your feet hip distance apart, maybe even put a block between your inner thighs, but we will be moving out of this pose quite quickly. So just know that from the get-go. Let's come back to mountain pose, hands to heart, center straight in the legs. Okay, now we're gonna continue adding on. So here we go, return to chair. Bend the knees, reach your arms forward. Add any of the options that you would like. We're gonna continue on. Keep all your weight into your left foot. Send your right foot back, crescent lunge. Both arms reach up. 
Right heel nice and high, back heel high. Front knee bent deeply. Inner thighs hug in towards one another. Take a breath in. Exhale, chair pose. Send your right foot back to your left where we started. Keep that bent. We're gonna switch sides. Weight into the right foot. Send the left leg back, crescent lunge. Reach your arms overhead. Hug the abdominals in. Lower the ribs down. Think of buttoning your shirt together so everything hugs into midline. Some options in crescent might be hands at heart. Maybe you look up to challenge your balance. Maybe even close your eyes. Let's return that left leg forward. Chair pose. I know we're still in it. Both knees are bent a lot. Sink the hips a little bit lower. Hold your chair. Weight into the left. Send the right foot back. Crescent lunge. Reach those arms up. Take any of the other options that you would like. Hold here. Create length. Create space. Create depth. I know that front leg's probably on fire. You got it. Let's add on into warrior two. Spiral your back heel down. Reach your arms out to a T. It's quite normal to want to come out of the front knee a little bit, but can you deepen through that front leg? If your front knee is moving past your ankle, it's a great indicator that you have more depth, so open your feet a bit wider. Reach out through the arms, gaze over the front hand. Now we're retrograding, we're reversing the order. So very gently spiral the back heel up and the toes forward as you return to your crescent lunge, both arms reach overhead. Take your back foot to your front foot, your right foot to your left foot, sit into that chair. We are staying in chair so long here, really working those leg muscles. Let's switch sides. Keep your weight onto your right foot. Send your left foot back, crescent lunge. Friends, can you find a bit more depth? Depth in any way that makes sense for you, whether it's breath, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's mental, whatever makes sense. We'll continue on to our warrior two. Let's spiral that back heel down. Reach the arms out. Take the gaze over the front hand. Lots of depth in that front leg. You may have to widen your stance a little bit. And that's so good when you can widen your stance. Feel the inner thighs working. Feel the abdominals working. Put a softness through your jaw and your tongue. Very gently pivot on the back foot. So lift the heel up. Rotate the torso, toes forward. Heel high. Crescent lunge, we return. Keep that front knee bent. Let's step back foot forward to front foot into our chair. I know we are back in chair pose. You are doing great. Bend the knees a little bit more. Hug the belly and reach those arms. Let's continue on. Weight into the left foot. Send the right foot back. Crescent lunge. Take a breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Breath out. Hold your warrior two. Adding on one more pose. Keep the depth in your warrior two. Reverse warrior two. Send the left arm up towards the sky as you slide the right arm down. Be mindful that you're not just sinking your weight to get into this side bend, but you're lifting up and out of your pelvis to create more side bend, more stretch, more support through the little muscles between the ribs. Now, if you guessed it, we are going Back the same way we came in. So let's return to our warrior two. Pause there for just a moment. Be mindful as you lift the back heel up, rotate it to the front to pivot back into your crescent lunge. Let's step the back foot forward, right foot to left, chair pose, hold it. Second side, pour all your weight into your right foot. Gently send your left foot as far back as you can, come into crescent lunge. Take a breath in. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Pause in your warrior two. Keep your lower body exactly where it is. Maybe even a little deeper bend through the front knee, a little more extension through the back leg. The pelvis stays sturdy as you reverse warrior. Right arm goes high, left arm slides down. Remember, like the arc of an a a rainbow, we lift up and over. Create space for the breath to move freely. Pause here for a moment. Let's bring the arms back to warrior two. Pause. Gently lift the back heel up, pivot to the front, crescent lunge. Step your left foot to your right chair, pose. Now we flow it out. Hold your chair, inhale. 
Sink a little bit deeper, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, right foot back. Warrior two, exhale, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, crescent lunge, pivot to the front. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, stand tall. Here's a change. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, hop or step it back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, move forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, chair pose, sit nice and low. Hold on the exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge, left foot shoots back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, crescent lunge to the front. Exhale, chair pose and step the back foot forward. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, hop or step it back. Inhale, your back bend, cobra, king cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, move forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful job. Bend the knees, bring the booty down to the ground and set up for boat pose navasana. So knees bent, hands underneath the legs to start. You can keep your big toes down or float your feet off the mat so the feet are in line with the knees at a 90 degree angle. Hands can stay behind the knees, hands to heart center, or reach those arms forward. Option to pause, option to maybe tap the toes down. So we'll take it alternating. Tap the right toes down, lift them up. Tap the left toes down, lift them up. Keep tapping right, left, right, left, right, left for three, two, last one, and pause. Hands behind you, nice and stable. Let the feet drop down to the ground. Open your feet as wide as your mat and start to rock your knees left to right, like little window wipers on your cars, right to left, left to right. You can take this continuous mo movement or let the knees fall to one side and then just pause there for a second. If you are taking the hold, let your knees fall to the other side now. We'll pause there for a second. If not, just that continuous movement is perfect too. Bring it back to center. Let's bring our feet together now, knees wide for butterfly, hands around the ankles, sit up nice and tall, deep breath in. As you exhale, you can hold or begin to fold forward. If you'd prefer to move your feet further away from you for more of a diamond shape, it'll change where you're feeling the stretch in the legs. Just another option there. Breathe into the body. Let's take just a couple more cycles of breath. And then slowly bring yourself back up and lower yourself onto your back, all the way down. Lie down the back for Shavasana, for our corpse pose. In this pose, we allow our body to just rest. We release any control of breath, any control of physical body, anything extra. We literally don't have to do anything and sometimes that might be the hardest. We won't be here for very long though. So if you have a tendency to leave class or pause the video, try to stay today. We won't be here too much longer. And when it's time to come out, I will let you know.
Begin to make your way out of your Shavasana. Reach the arms overhead, long body stretch. Hug the knees into the chest and make your way up to seated. We'll be seated in a silent meditation again for such a small amount of time, but these small moments make huge differences. So if you tend to leave, try to stay today. We'll pause, seated, eyes closed. When it's time to come out of our very short meditation, I will guide us out. Begin to breathe in through the nose, expand the breath, and breathe out of the mouth. Let that go completely. Palms touch at heart center, rub the hands, create some heat. Place the warmth of the left hand on the heart, right hand on top of the left. Bow the chin. Silently thank yourself for being on your mat, for opening up the body for connecting with the power within, the ease within. I want to thank you all, and until next time. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Put any future requests and comments below, as I would love to know how much you enjoyed this class, this practice. Also, I have a 21-day yoga challenge to help you create a habit of practicing daily. For a limited time, I'm offering it for free. Yep, absolutely free. So click here to get started. Or if you want some more amazing classes here on YouTube, then click right here. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all sometime soon.